Expanding your English, mastering synonyms and antonyms. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English learning series. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating topic. Expanding your vocabulary through synonyms and antonyms. By the end of this video, you will have a new set of tools for enhancing your English proficiency, understanding context, and expressing yourself more precisely. Let's get started. The English language is rich and complex, with a multitude of words having similar or opposite meanings. These are known as synonyms and antonyms respectively. Learning these word relationships will significantly broaden your vocabulary and enhance your ability to communicate effectively in English. A synonym is a word that has the same or nearly the same meaning as another word in the same language. For instance, the words happy, joyful, and pleased are synonyms. An antonym, on the other hand, is a word that means the opposite of another word. For example, happy is the antonym of sad. The use of synonyms is a powerful tool in English language learning. Why? Because it helps you. 1. Express yourself more precisely. Different synonyms often have slightly different connotations. For example, the word angry can be intensified with the word furious or softened with irritated. 2. Avoid repetition. Using synonyms can make your speech and writing more varied and interesting. 3. Understand context better. Knowing a variety of synonyms can help you understand nuanced meanings in different contexts. Let's take an example. Suppose you often use the word big. By learning synonyms such as large, huge, enormous, and gigantic, you can now express different degrees of size, making your English more precise and interesting. Antonyms are equally important. They allow you to 1. Express contrasts and oppositions. Antonyms are a powerful way to show contrast or express opposite ideas. For example, you can use happy and sad to express different emotional states. 2. Infer meaning. If you don't understand a word but you know its antonym, you can infer its meaning. For example, if you don't know the meaning of cheap, but you know expensive, you can guess that cheap means the opposite. Practice is key to mastering synonyms and antonyms. Try to 1. Use a thesaurus. This is a book or online tool that lists synonyms and antonyms for words. Look up a common word you use and learn its synonyms and antonyms. 2. Contextual exercises. Try to write sentences using new synonyms and antonyms. This will help reinforce their meanings and usages. 3. Quizzes and games. There are many online resources where you can play games or take quizzes to test your understanding of synonyms and antonyms. That's it for today's lesson on expanding your vocabulary through synonyms and antonyms. Remember, the key is to practice regularly. Understanding and using synonyms and antonyms is not just about learning words, but also about understanding their nuances and how they can be used to enrich your communication in English. We hope you found this video helpful. Remember, practice makes perfect. Happy learning!